Hi guys. I'm lost. Um, the map that I'm using, if you can see it or not, is a map of the country. So it just shows uh, big interstates and big highways. Not interstates, but big highways. Um, and it doesn't show little roads. And I'm on a little road right now. And I think I made a wrong turn. Um, I'm on Highway 29, but there is no Highway 29 on here. So I am I think I need to make a U-turn. I think I made, I was supposed to make a left instead of making a right. So I'm going to spin around and um, see, see if I'm going in the right direction. So anyway, I figured I'd let you guys know that, hey, even me, even the famous Jay gets lost. So... Now I have to spin around somewhere. Oh, I know what I'll do. There is a driveway. Back a little bit. And I will back up into this driveway, with, hopefully without getting stuck in the dirt. Hey, hey, hey. Oh. Remember, if you're ever lost, remain calm. Okay. I'm not saying I'm not lost. I'm not found yet. I'm, st I'm still lost. Uh, but I think I remember seeing a sign up here, and um, I wasn't really paying that much attention. So I'm hoping that it's the right way. So anyway, um, let's see, get you guys updated on uh, what's going on, why I'm kind of driving around the country lost. Uh, I just got done from Rotorua. Oh, hey, we got a sign come up here. Hold that thought for a minute. Sign says, Mata, oh, Hamilton straight ahead, Mata Mata to the right, and Taru to the left. So I want to go to Mata Mata. So let's go to Mata Mata. Uh, I'm sure I'm saying these names wrong. Uh, they're Mari names, so I'm sure I'm saying them wrong. It's not how you're supposed to. Okay. Hey, you hear that? You hear that uh, engine whine? No one got whiplash today. Uh, this poor little car. I got to give it credit. It still goes, and it's still it's doing fine. It hasn't fallen apart yet. I'm sure when I park it at the airport, it's just gonna just go <laughs> and fall apart. But hey, it's doing its job. What it's paid to do. Anyway, um, get back to Rotorua. I was at Rotorua. I am really, 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 really tired. Really tired. Um, I didn't sleep at all last night. Uh, I was too worried about uh, freezing to death. It was so cold last night, and I was in one of my cabins, which if you guys haven't seen yet, go ahead and go to my videos. I, I think that's where it's at or whatever. Find cabin number two. I'll label it cabin number two, okay? Um, you'll get a kick out of my cabin. I took a picture of my cabin or a video of my cabin. Uh, I've told you guys before about the size of the cabins, you know, say about six foot by six foot um, or two meters by two meters or one, whatever the equivalent is. It's about that. Um, I know you guys are saying, oh, yeah, Jay's, oh, yeah, Jay, come on. You're exaggerating. You're exaggerating. No. Take a look at the, the cabin number two, okay? And uh, then you can get back at me, all right? Um, anyway, cabin number two had a bed in it. Yeehaw, great. Had a bed and a hot water kettle, of course, for the tea. And that was it. Nothing else. Not even a heater. Not even an electric blanket. Not even a heating pad underneath the blanket nothing. So last night was really, really cold, and I'm in this little tool shed type thing, and uh, I'm wearing two pairs of socks. Now, if anybody guys know me, uh, if anyone knows me out there, I don't wear two pairs of socks. I don't wear socks to bed, um, because I'm like radiate heat. I, I'm just, you know, like a little portable heating blanket. Um, all my girlfriends always used to 
put their cold feet on my back or wrap their legs around me and stuff. Oh, heat me up. I'm cold. I'm cold. Ugh. Ooh. Anyway, um, I was frozen. Two pairs of socks, uh, one t-shirt, one long shirt un over the, the t-shirt, a jumper or sweatshirt over that, and this work shirt. Four shirts. And one of those shirts was a sweatshirt. Um, stay warm. I had to plug in my computer and any other electronic device I could think of that I have so that it would generate heat in this place. It did have a light bulb in there, which was an incandescent light bulb, which thank God it was, because if it was a fluorescent light, which most of these places are, to save electricity, uh, it doesn't heat. You know, fluorescent bulbs don't get real hot. An incandescent bulb, which is your regular type of light bulb, your like 100 watt light bulb, gets hot. And so I kept that on all night so that it would heat up the, this little shack. Um, it was so cold that my hands started to hurt. The cold hurt. It did have a bed with a duvet, duvet on it, on top of it, or a, a, a duvet, I think they say in Australia. Um, hold that up all the way up to you know my head. Even covered myself a couple times with it. But just throughout the night, I kept waking up, and, and you know, like my legs would be frozen or something like that. And then I'd have to move around and stuff. Oh, bad night. And then on top of that, I had to um, hang on. I got a funky intersection here. Um, it's a five-way intersection with a train crossing. Where the hell am I supposed to go? Um, wow. Oh, okay. I'll just follow everyone else. Um, gotta love driving in different countries. Anyway, I uh, plugged my computer in and let my computer run all night so that it would, you know, laptops heat up. And I think I might have said that before. If I didn't, what I've done before is, is I've uh, plugged my laptop in so that it heats up and then I'll put that over me or on my chest so that it radiates the heat down in there, you know, down to, to me so I'm not like frozen. I figure if I can keep my core warm, my extremities will take a while for it to, for them to freeze up. Anyway, I had to get up at 5.30 this morning. I am, oh, like I said, I'm really tired. Uh, because I had to borrow a ladder. It's a little impractical for me to borrow or to take a ladder from Sydney to Auckland or New Zealand or, you know, wherever in New Zealand. Um, take it on the plane. Not real practical. It's easier just to borrow a ladder from the parks because most of these places that I go to have ladders. Um, or if worse came to worse, I'd go rent one or something like that. And so um, anyway, they have one, but I couldn't use it that day because they're using it. They said, well, if you get up at 5.30 and you know, um, use it by like about 6 o'clock, uh, that'd be good because he needs it for sign painting, or he needs to paint a sign. Oh, excuse me, he needs to paint a sign at um, his place or something. So anyway, um, get up at five thirty, frozen, trying to beat my legs to make them to work and hands and stuff. Uh, I'm gonna see. Coming up on another intersection here, and I'm not sure. I'm supposed to go. Oh, oh, I know where I'm at. I've been here before. This is Mata Mata, or Mata Mata, however you want to say it. I'm at a roundabout right now, so if you guys don't know what a roundabout is, it's a big round circle where all these intersections come in, and it's kind of funny when you first uh, try to, um, when you first try to uh, uh, go to one of these roundabouts, if you don't know the rule on the roundabout, uh, you'll screw everyone up, and yourself included. 